The CMG component isn't part of that discussion. The CMG is part of the audit. Um, no, uh, when I'm asking about staffing in specific, I am just wondering if, uh, you know, I'll just put it out there as our current state of affairs is in preparation for this contract. Um, no, I'm feeling uh, at, like we're at a position where we need to rehire staff and I am questioning whether this contract, um, whether uh, our interaction with Siemens um, rather explains or uh, has paved the way for, for this to go through. Can, can I respond? I'm picking up on something here. And I, I'm, not, I'm not completely understanding. Me too. Me First too. off, there was a rumor going around out in the blogosphere about us getting rid of the electricity and somehow Siemens taking it over. And that's just total BS. So I want to I eliminate that from the equation. We're actually intending to build a new power plant if we can bring that to y'all next uh, June 2016. But the staffing at the power plant or the, the um, electric utility, we've had some issues with trying to hire and keep staffing uh, because of our competitiveness more than anything else. And, you know, our intent is to run there hasn't been, I don't think, reductions at the power, uh, at the Lake Worth Electric Utility in staffing numbers. We've been changing out staff. We've had staff that have had problems that we've gotten rid of. That's a total, that's a management issue, and, and that's not a changing um, the direction or anything with the electric utility. Only y'all can do that. Let's, let's be clear about that. The technologies you're talking about here are nothing that are it's no more exotic than this computer in front of me here. You know, we all have them to use them. Street lighting is not something that would require us to hire additional expertise or staffing to take care of. Meters, we use meters both electric and water. These are just the next evolution in a meter system that we would probably like to do anyway if we had the money, time, resources, and ability to do it. Um, the, the upgrades to the facilities, that's stuff that we've been trying to do anyway. Solar, solar, we're getting our toe in the water there on some new stuff. And, and that, you know, obviously there's going to be some issues that we need to make sure we're very clear on as we go forward if y'all decide to do that component. But there isn't any technology or device or item that's being suggested that would somehow fit with it outside the realm of our ability to maintain, use, and incorporate in our daily operations. And I think that's kind of the beauty of looking at savings and energy savings and those well-known kind of things that we do. So I don't want you to think that because we don't have the ability to come up with the financing ability and run these calculations and, and develop a program under the law, that it means we don't need use and, and incorporate those devices in our daily work lives. And definitely, you know, please, let's dispel any misinformation that may be put out there or mischaracterizations by anyone. There's nothing going on at the electric utility that in any way involves Siemens doing anything other than this performance contract. Clearly. I mean, that's something we've never even talked about. We heard a rumor going around. And that's what it is. It's not true. So that's totally not true. Where did you even come from? Vice Mayor, did you? What? Did you have your hand up? I'm sorry, before I No, I, yeah, I also heard the rumor, and you know, I think it's ludicrous, and of course. Sometimes as long as we don't want to let the facts get in, in, in the way of the uh, reality of what's going on. But, uh, you know, whenever you advance your technology, I mean, isn't that the way of this, this world? I mean, sometimes uh, yeah. well, if you achieve more efficiencies in what you do every day, you know, you, you create an environment sometimes where, you know, it, it requires fewer people to do the job. But that's just the way of the world. And as people retire, you don't replace them, you know. So I don't think any, there's any conspiracy theory here. However, I did start to hear the black helicopter a few ago. We, you know, we've made, been making staff staff changes. I've actually let some people know that's part of running an organization, and it can send the wrong signals that people hear or want to believe something else. But um, you know, I don't want you to think that. Condition. And I just, on the record, I'm going out with that. So hopefully that'll clear some of those concerns. Um, and anyone else who maybe feel that Siemens. No, they're not involved in, in the operations or any um, discussions that have ever taken place that says that they're interested in taking over electric utility. 
And that's something that I would even tiptoe close to. Um, and that's a policy decision. That's in your hands. That's in the ownership's hands. Um, we're, we're moving full speed ahead to bring to you a proposal for a new power plant in 2016 June. And that's a, that's a clear sign that you know, Lake Worth is owning and operating its own electric utility with its own employees. So I hope that helps. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for taking your time. Appreciate it. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All those in favor, aye. Thank you, everyone.